One day, a young monk named Kibo came to the wise Zen master Tenzin and said, I came to you because I feel so pathetic and worthless that I do not even want to be alive. Everyone around me is saying that I'm a loser, a useless idiot. What if they are right? I need your help, Master Tenzin. Master Tenzin picked a small piece of glass from his pocket and gave it to Kibo. Go to the market. Try to get as high a price as you can get and do not agree to the price lower than a hundred dollars. Do not sell it under any circumstances and return to me immediately. Kibo took the piece of glass and rode away. Arriving at the market, he began to offer the glass to the merchants. At first, they looked upon the glass with interest. However, when they heard about the price of a hundred dollars, they immediately lost all interest in the glass. Some openly laughed in his face, others simply turned away, and only one elderly merchant kindly explained to him that a hundred dollars is too high a price for such a piece of glass and that only a one dollar, or at the very most a two dollars, can Kibo hope to get. Hearing the old man's words, Kibo was very upset because he remembered Master Tenzin's order that he was not to lower the price below a hundred dollars. Kibo tried again. He went around the whole market offering the glass to at least a hundred people. But defeated, Kibo saddled his horse and returned to Master Tenzin. Feeling like a failure, he approached him and said, Master Tenzin, I was not able to complete your assignment. At best, I could have gotten two dollars for the glass, but you ordered not to settle for less than a hundred dollars. I don't know whether this glass is really worth a hundred dollars. You just said very important words Kibo, replied Master Tenzin. Before trying to sell the glass, it would be nice to establish its true value. Well, who could do that better than a jeweler? Ride down to the jeweler and ask him how much he will offer us for the glass. Only, whatever he tells you, do not sell the glass. Come back to me. The jeweler took his time examining the glass through a magnifying glass. He then weighed it on small scales and, finally, turned to Kibo saying, tell Master Tenzin that I cannot give him more than a $100 at this time. But, if he gives me two days, I'll buy the glass for $200, given the urgency of the matter. $200. Kibo laughed, thanked the jeweler and rushed back to Master Tenzin. Master Tenzin allowed Kibo to finally sell it in the third attempt if he got the highest price ever. On the third day, as Kibo stood in the town square, the king's procession passed by. The king stopped and looked at the piece of glass. His eyes sparkled as he recognized it to be a rare diamond. He offered a whopping one million dollars for it. The king ordered the jeweler to make a necklace for the queen by fixing this diamond. Kibo happily sold it and returned to Master Tenzin. Sit down here, said Master Tenzin, listening to Kibo's words. And know, Kibo, that you are very much like this piece of glass. Precious and irreplaceable. Only a true expert can appreciate you. So why are you walking around the market, expecting the first person to do that? You must first recognize your own worth, Kibo. You must believe in your abilities, your strengths, and your potential. Only then will you attract those who can see your true value. Remember, you are not a useless idiot or a loser, as some people have told you. You are like this piece of glass, precious and irreplaceable. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. From that day forward, Kibo no longer sought validation from others. He worked on recognizing his own worth, cultivating his strengths, and pursuing his passions. He understood that his worth was not determined by others' opinions but by his own self-belief and actions. And in doing so, he found those who truly appreciated him for who he was. This story teaches us the importance of recognizing our own worth and not relying on others to define it for us. It reminds us that we are all precious and irreplaceable, just like the piece of glass in the story. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring stories and practical tips. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. You never know who you might inspire.